Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm still learning 2021. Been playing around with it today, and I I found out a couple things you can do. If you take like a text and you want it like in a perspective, you can right click on it and move it to a plane and move it to the top plane, and it actually draws it in a perspective. And then you could bring it into your perspective grid. And if you, they change the handles to like a dot. So if you move that dot out to there and move this dot out to here, and then you can actually move it down to there, you can draw in a totally different perspective. You could, you could always probably take Corel Draw and do that, but not have a box that's already you know, even, let's tell you what, let's finish that. And that's what it looks like. And let's, uh, let's just type that out again. And you've always been able to, to well, not always, in the last several version, you can go perspective and add a perspective, but you've never been able to, you know, have anything really to match it up with. So you could do the same thing. It's just a little bit easier now with the new perspective. Uh, so if you're clicked off of it, you can go to object, you can go to perspective and draw in perspective and you get a different, um, I didn't do anything. I didn't do it right. Go up to object and draw in perspective. You've got to be clicked off of it. Now let's get rid of that. Well, I've totally messed this up. Let's finish it, get rid of that, go to object, draw in perspective, and then draw your perspective. And I've just realized today you can do more than one plane. You can do two focal points, like vanishing points, they call them. So now you can have two. And it's really interesting. I'm going to still play around with this quite a bit, but that's pretty cool. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.